Hello, I'm Gerald Picard, a retired IBMer. This is my latest invention, an exhaustible clean energy microgrid engineered to save homeowners a lot of their energy costs. This video is a demo of how this process can be done with our lab model, which is three machines into one R&D. You know, exhaustible clean energy, it's running, okay. You can see the sparks there, okay. So, uh, we uh, are going to flip the one arm bandit, but this is the house that we're doing, okay. And we have the main cord from the house going into the one arm bandit, okay. It goes to the one arm bandit and that goes in to the machine. This is the master electrician. Hello. Yep, and he's going to flick the one arm bandit, and when he does that, the house lights come on. Okay? So. Yes. So, and you'll see that the lights up, the lights are up there. Yep, we're going to do, yep. To learn more, go to www.xylotechinc.com. Uh, the uh, video download page, okay, to get all the stuff that is published on our YouTube channel. Thanks. This image compares the ICE microgrid against a standard house backup generator and also shows the three different models, A, B, and C. Currently, we are using carbon foam battery bank and lithium ion battery banks. Thanks. Currently in 2022, my favorite energy storage device is Ambry's liquid aluminum batteries, which is about 2.4 cents per kilowatt hour, period. An exhaustible clean energy. Uh, we just finished powering this house here, okay, from the previous video. This is how we hooked it up. And this is the master electrician and he's going to explain how this is hooked up okay so we're going to start with the machine first so we'll start with the machine okay so the machine this is a power module and it brings energy uh, through the meter into this uh, cord into the line side of this uh, disconnect when we turn the disconnect in the on position energy runs through this cable which will run all the way to the house bridge panel which is tied into the house panel uh, breakers. Okay. So now we're going to go down and show you how we hooked up the machine to the uh, panel with the sub panel. To the house. From the machine comes into the window, 65 foot cord, goes into the sub panel, and I'm going to let the master, le master electrician take over and explain what he's doing. So when we are on power module feed from the trailer where the power module is located, energy will come in through this cable, through this main breaker, and then this breaker feeds these circuits, which power the house, lights, uh, fridge, uh, microwave. Yeah. And it's upgradable, so we can add in more circuits uh, when we increase the uh, energy storage device and take on more circuits to save more energy from for the homeowner. So typically, um, when so this is the house panel, and this 30 amp, breaker is the grid power feed which feeds the bridge panel manual transfer switch. So right now we are in the up position which is grid power from the house panel and when we reverse the energy flow energy will be coming in from the power module and we would just flick this breaker up and then the power module will be energizing the lights, the bridge, and the light. Perfect. There you have it. There you have it. Thanks very much, uh, Rob. God bless. I must emphasize, if we add solar collectors on every roof in North America, wouldn't that be more logical to use 
real estate that already exists instead of trying to add solar collectors on real estate that doesn't exist. This 16 pole four prime mover production CAD image equivalent to about 12 horsepower. See, ICE microgrid is installed. It reduces the amount of uh, renewables required. And if the power goes out, you'll still be okay because the device is actually powering your house off the grid and only a few apparatuses are actually connected to the grid. Uh, with the renewables, then it becomes off-grid capabilities. Thanks.